guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a review of some products. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is this lipstick. And I, and this is from Rimmel and it just says Kate. I honestly don't know what it's called, but it's in the color Kiss of Life. And um, I'm wearing it right now and my application was a bit rough, so just don't mind that. But I think this is amazing lipstick and it stays on so well. And even when you like drink and stuff, like it's not on the cup at all. I don't even know how, but it's like really good lipstick. And here's the, what the color looks like. So yeah, that's what that color looks, looks like. And it's sort of one of the darker reds that they had. At, um, I got it at Walgreens and I think this was around for dollars so four or five dollars I think so it's really cheap and I would go as far as to say I like it better than my Mary Kay lipsticks which come off really easily and they're just a little bit more like buttery and creamy so this is just I would say a lot better than the Mary Kay and it's a lot lot cheaper as well so that's the first one second thing I picked up was this also Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation and here's what just the bottle that it came in and I really like the consistency of this it's very liquidy which I like because it puts on um, a thinner layer as for like thicker and loose foundations like looks like really cakey and like I don't really know the word but it's just like thick on your face. As for this, it's really thin and just great coverage, but still like thin and not cakey, I guess. And at first, I did not think this was my skin tone, but now that I've applied it a couple times, I do think that this was the right color for me. And this is in the color, oh, Classic Ivory. So that's the one I got. It's called Classic Ivory. So you guys should totally go get this if you're looking for a um, light but still covering foundation that's cheap. This was like around eight dollars, I believe, but I'll just put the price right there. The next thing I'm going to talk about is this, and this is the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder. So when you open it, it comes like this, like with the powder right here, and then it comes with this like sponge too. Which I personally don't really like using a sponge. I like using I like just using a brush, but a brush does not work very well on this powder. So that is one of the downsides. You kind of have to use a sponge or something like that. But other than that, I would say this is a really good powder, especially for how cheap it is. I think this is three dollars. So I'd say the quality of this compared to the price is really good. And the only downside for me is I'd rather use a brush than a sponge but you do actually have to use a sponge when you do it otherwise it gets really like flaky and just goes everywhere so that's what I would say about this one and the wet and wild stuff is sort of hit and miss just like elf they're just kind of all over the place and just crazy but most of their stuff is really good I would say so the next thing I'm going to talk about is the falsies mascara which I have on now and I really, really like it. And so here's what it comes in. And it's just like this little purple bottle. It's really cute. And my favorite part about this mascara is the wand. Um, if you can see that, it's on sort of a curve to like the curve of your eyelash. It's like slightly curved and my least favorite part about this would probably be that every time you like put it in there and take it out there's like a little clump on the end of the mascara wand but i'm pretty sure that happens to almost every mascara so can't be that picky but other than that i really love this mascara and um i don't have it on too heavy right now just sort of natural but when I do have it on heavy, I can, it's one of those mascaras where you can layer it and you can make your eyelashes like this long if you wanted to. You can make them go up and touch your eyebrows if you wanted to. You can just make them crazy long. 
And those are my like new products that I got this month and that I figured I would test out for you guys because I would have wanted to know these things before I bought them. Um, whether that doesn't mean I regret buying them, I don't regret buying any of these things. I'm so really happy and I still use all of them every day. So, so yeah, that's pretty much it for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'm filming this on Sunday before the last day of school. So, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>